What's up everybody? Today we're going to be breaking down another commitment graphic. Side note, if you want a commitment graphic, DM me and let's get to work. But without further ado, let's break this bad boy down. So in this one, I was asked by a guy that goes to, I guess this is called Dreyer High School, uh, to make him a commitment graphic. And I got some pretty decent photos from him and online and I was able to whip them up into this. So I just cut each of them out. I added in the logo, then I put the blue gradient on the background. As you can see, it's just a blue background with the gradient overlay on radial set to overlay. And then I brought in a couple different images that I found online and I tried to kind of test out some different things. This is like my process for how I work. So like I asked him for a close up of his face because I thought maybe I'll use that, cut that out and see what works. And you know, sometimes you have to go through some of this work not knowing if you're gonna use it all. Like this picture right here, I ended up not using I cut it out and I kind of tried to like work it in see if I could put it anywhere decided not to that's when I added in this night helmet and just changed the look to color dodge and flipped it and put it on the other side to make it symmetrical then I started adding adding in glows on the players so what I did was add like a really broad blue kind of glow on the inside and then a white basically just a stroke like a little bit of glow that's just like more uh, sharp on the edges of each of the cutouts and so that is supposed to be like the light that's hitting them from behind then I put a drop shadow on some of them to give it like a glow effect from the back so what the drop shadow is is just like a white linear dodge layer and then I cut out the background just to give it more of like more of a complex look. I cut out the background uh, with a circle and then just erase the top and put that layer mask on it. So you just have the black background below and then you have the blue background up top. And then I put a gradient overlay on the black background just to kind of give it some depth. And again here I'm just messing around with his cutout and decided no it's not really going to work anywhere uh so i gave each of the cutouts a glow and then what i did was i converted those layer styles into layers and then just painted them on where i wanted them so kind of brushed them away um from like the middle because like the player cutouts would be blocking each other from the light hitting them but the outsides is where like the light source would be hitting them so again, it's not perfect lighting, but it's just kind of like that generic, uh, easy lighting. And so then I tried to give them like some separation with a little bit of shading, like a, just a drop shadow on each of them. And then here again, I'm just testing like different images to see what's gonna work. I thought like maybe putting a little helmet on him, like a night helmet uh, would be cool. Cause I think they're the gladiators, the team that he committed to. So, you know, I thought if I could change his helmet to a gladiator helmet, that would be cool. But that didn't work. It didn't look good. So I took it off. Then I found this flag and I was like, oh, I'll make this into like the logo. Like this is where he's committing to. So the New Hope uh, Leadership Academy, they're the gladiators. Put that logo on the flag and painted the flag like black. And then the top was just kind of like the sun thing. So I was like, okay, I'll put this helmet on the top of the flag stake thingy. And then what I did was just like, kind of took all the color out of it and then made it a little more contrasty. And then I was like, okay, well, I need to change the red mohawk thing to blue. So as you can see, I put a color overlay on it and then uh, just set it to color and then just took it off of everything <clears throat> except for like the red parts so then I put that on the stake and covered up the little sun thing and like you know made that whole like flag thingy there the, the logo so then I came through and I had to take away the logos and stuff for the team he was on. I didn't ne necessarily need to do this, um, but I 
decided, you know, I'm not going to go through like a full uniform change, but I do need to make the, the uniform he's in look more generic so it looks like he's like committing to this new team because sometimes you do like a uniform or like a jersey swap for these commitment graphics but because this is more of like a low budget commitment graphic i just honestly wasn't going to spend like the time to do that so like you know if if there's a bigger budget to do that then i'll spend the time to like do jersey swaps and all that sort of thing but for this one it just wasn't necessary didn't want to take the time to do that so i just took off the logos of his high school and basically just like put in the new logos and I just added in the new scripts so what I did there was I just made text and then double clicked on it and kind of dragged down some of the sliders to make it blend onto the jersey a little more and then I just cut it off like where the hands were so it looks like it's saying like gladiators underneath his hands and then I put that same gladiators text on each of the jerseys um, here I'm just kind of giving the whole flag thing a little bit of a gradient overlay to make it pop just a little bit more you know it's pretty subtle uh, and then here I added in a selective color to change the blues on the two jerseys um, the two like white jerseys and the, the blue accents and the blue pants uh, to fit more of the blue on the other on the other uniforms and the background and then here I'm just again putting in the gladiator text on the uniform and then I added in the gladiator logo onto his helmet and used the little slider to take it off of the strap and then there I just adjusted those background images uh, just transform them to like tweak them up a little bit and so then I added in some shading just like some shadows beneath which are basically just black brushes and made him very subtle then again tried to like somehow figure out a way that I can use this um, Colosseum image thing and thought I could do like a reflection or like a little like sticker thing on his visor but that just didn't work out then I had a really cool idea with like these um, Trojan guys or these like gladiators on on uh, little thing with their horses and it was definitely a hassle to cut them out so I kind of just had to tediously go through and cut some of the edges and didn't make it perfect because I knew it was going to be small so then I thought all right how can I make this look you know fitting with the rest of the graphic so I kind of like um, desaturated a lot of it and then still didn't like it so I thought like how can I make this look like metallic -y and kind of less real and more like a statue or something um, then I tried the blue see if that might look cool see what that would look like and that didn't work um, so I left it as is and then I was like now I need something for the other side so I added in this picture of a gladiator and then I just used some effects to try and make him as metallic as possible and then I did the same thing to the other side and I liked it but I didn't love it but I started messing with some other things I liked this image of the sword the best I had a few different sword images but this one looked the sharpest and it had that gem and I was like oh I can turn the gem blue and again, I didn't really know where to put the swords and I didn't want them to look like they were like stabbing into him, but I wanted them to look like they were like, you know, attached to his back, I guess. Um, so I put them in like that and then added in that glow to them. Just, it's just an inner shadow. That's two different inner shadows, like blue color dodge and then white color dodge or something. And then I was like, let me add in this lens flare just to make it pop. So, you know, you don't, you don't really have to make everything as clean 
and branded for these random recruiting graphics. They just want something that looks really cool. So, you know, it doesn't have to be as polished. So we're basically just kind of doing anything we can to, to make it look cool and uh, make it pop. And so I added in these shadows underneath those two guys, which looks pretty good. I liked it, but I still didn't love it. Um, so I kind of just like would do little things to them, tweak them, and then like let them sit there for a little bit. Then I added in the committed text just to kind of see where it was going to go. I knew, or I figured it would be 3D text that I would end up using, but usually you just want to like save a spot, which I didn't really do in the beginning, which is why I'm having a hard time putting the committed text and then his name in there. And then I had the idea to put his name on the two sword handles and kind of make them metallic. So I put them there and then I just started giving giving them some effects to make them look more metallic. Gave them like a, a metal overlay with a bevel and that's what gave them this look. And it kind of looks like there's like scrapes and like sparks flying from the from the light, you know, coming from beneath them. And I added in like that same glow uh, to the name as well. So then I went into Adobe Dimension and used a template I had used before and made committed text with a different font. And then I exported it in 3D, put it into Photoshop, and then I cut out the inside. That's why I made it green so it stands out from the outline. Then I made them two separate layers. I made the white, or I made the green, white, and then try to figure out what I want to do with the outside look. So here I'm just kind of like messing around with different things, tweaking the 3D text and uh, trying different glows and overlays uh, to both the inside and the outside of the text. And then I like to warp the text like that and it just kind of gives it more of like that 3D effect. Um, I always like it better when it's warped. So then I gave him a glow that, that first cut out because I figured there'd be like kind of a glow coming from that text because the text, you know, just looks like basically a light source, like a glowing light source. And so I just painted that in around his cutout. I think I ended up doing the same thing to the flag right there that's next to him. Uh, then I like to put on one of the color lookups and just kind of tweak it, see which one looks the best, see if I like any of them. They usually change the look a good amount. Um, then I added in my little lighting thing where I kind of stamp the whole graphic and then do apply image and then put a Gaussian blur on it and then just paint it in where I want it just to give it all a glow. And you know, you can try a regular Gaussian blur or radial blur, whatever you want. If you want a commitment graphic like this, put it in the comments or shoot me a DM on social media and let's work. Like this video and subscribe. You can check this graphic out on my Patreon for a limited time.